Hey guys, today we're going to be crafting this helmet for the Smite Armor Stacker. This is the non-synthesized craft, and uh, we managed to craft it in about uh, five under five divines, including the base. Um, I did a, uh, what do you call it, divine this helmet to get the mana reservation up and ended up spending like, what, I think six or seven divines, but if you don't count that, the craft costed about uh, I'd say five divines ish worth of essences mainly okay so to buy the base for the helmet go to the trade site we're gonna look for a hubris uh hubris circlet let's get rid of this real quick uh with the smite has increased aura effect at 30 percent uh and we don't want to look for a corrupted item synthesized item uh, let's see, is there a uh, influence? Um, uh, let's see. Okay, let's just search for this. And you can see there's a whole bunch, but we don't want any influences. This is uh, Elder Influence. This is uh, one of the Conqueror Influences. So, uh, you can see here... 1.5 divines. This guy already has one crafted, but it's pretty low ES. Uh, it seems like the bases are going for about two divines right now. Uh, they were a bit cheaper later, uh, earlier on in the league, but you can see here base percentile 100% for two divines. So probably expect about two divines for the base uh, with the enchant. And it's probably definitely better to buy the pre-enchanted item as you'll probably pay a couple of divines like three to four divines if you try to get this enchanted afterwards on tft okay so after we have the base uh pretty much uh there's a couple things that you want to do if you have the um fossils for them um obviously we need to use a gilded fossil Um, so we're just going to do this. Oh, it's not rare, so let's make it rare. Um, okay, so now we have this implicit, and then what we'll do is we'll try to get it to at least close to 30 quality. Uh, and we'll... let's try 10 or so of these uh, perfect fossils. If you guys don't know, you can hold down shift when you're clicking into these resonators. So um, if you like accidentally don't click on the hole, it won't like select the resonator. So it'll save you a lot of time. And can we get 30? I usually get 30 in a couple of tries. Uh, it seems like our luck's kind of run out. For the sake of the video, we'll try to get at least 30 quality, I think, or until we run out. Okay, that's 16. 27. Uh, there we go, 30. Okay, so that was pretty easy. Usually you get 30 in about 10 tries, I think. And after we get this, uh, what we need to do is uh, we need some essences. And uh, honestly, the craft is very easy for this. We just need these deafening essence of loathing, and they are about uh, 22 for one divine. Uh, so we'll try to at least keep, we'll try to hit something good in around two divines worth of these. And what we're looking for on these is uh, good um, resistance rolls, basically. Energy shield is nice, but uh, in the kind of like League Start scenario, you, you're you going to need a lot more resistance than you need energy shield. So we'll keep going till we have maybe like a tier 1, tier 2 resistance roll. Uh, this is actually very nice. What a tier 5 intelligence, though. Tier 2 ES. 
Uh, let's just see how much ES this would be if we when craft and not energy prepared. shield on it. Let's try to get a sort of a high roll. Yeah, it's kind of low, huh? What we can try to do is try to exalt slam this. And we get four life, so we'll probably keep going. Roll over this. This one too. ES roll is too low. I'm trying to get at least 300 ES. So this is actually very nice. Tier 4 cold res, but it has tier 2 intelligence. Uh, we could exalt slam this. We can block the life. Maybe block mana is good, but um, uh, let's see. Wow, we actually <laughs> hit a really good roll. Um, so let's see how much yes would this even get be? Uh, do we craft on the plus flat? Let's just see which one's more. So we're at 180. So 255. What about with the increased? Oh, it's not all that much. Uh, it would be nice if we hit a good roll on the flat. But I would probably actually use this on the league start kind of scenario. It, um... The resistance is nice, the intelligence is nice, and it kind of makes up for the uh, lack of resistance. But in this video, I want to try to make one with around 300 ES or so, so we'll keep going. Might have to go buy some more. Okay, wow, this is actually, like, perfect. Um... Great, it has like a life roll. Do we try to annul the life? It's like a, it'll be a 50 50 gamble, but we can try to do it, I think. What if we actually just craft? When I'm ready and not before. Um, let's see. This. Let's get 45. Yeah, okay, so. Honestly, in this case, I'm probably just going to end up keeping the helmet as it is. Let's see if we can get the max roll. There we go. It's 311 ES. Uh, and we got to switch the lightning resistance with harvest. So lightning to cold. And there we go. Uh, double tier 1 resist. We gotta fix the mana reservation, so we're gonna have to uh, divine this, sadly. Um, should we do an Ashling on this? I don't know, I think I'm just gonna keep it like this. But yeah, you could lock suffixes on this. Uh, and then you can go to Ashling and hope it removes the life, I guess. And the ener keeps the energy shield. But for this craft here, I think this is like uh, very usable, so we will keep this. Wow, it's like everything's tier 1 on this, basically. That's cool. Okay, so now we gotta do the implicits. Uh, See, I forget which one it is, so we'll just try out these first. Well, I think the blue one is the... yeah. Okay, so actually, you could probably just use this, like the 7%. You don't really need a really a high roll. Okay, so I guess if you want to do the Gilded Fossil, you have to do it after you have your implicits. Uh, I have a lot of these graders, so let's try to uh, use these to get the uh, mana reservation mod. Well, there we go. Uh, okay, so 
Do we try to Maven Orb one of them? It'll probably do the other one, right? Because we use the lesser. But I think this is fine like this. And so now all we have to do is divine this. And hopefully we hit it on the first try. Oh. There we go. Okay. So probably you shouldn't divine these if you're on a budget. But anyways. We actually went down on ES. Oh, man. Um, maybe we'll just do one more. Are you kidding? Okay. Alright, well, you should probably shouldn't do that. That was ready, like seven divines. <laughs> okay. Uh, so let's just recraft this. 245. And it's done. So now we just gotta do the uh, sockets and link it. There. And the helmet is done. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, don't divine your items like me. Waste, waste all your money. Um, but, uh, as you can see, it's pretty easy to craft this. You just kind of have to essence spam in a way and get lucky. Uh, or you can fix, you know, essence spam to have good suffixes and lock suffix and reforge uh, defense or go do an ash link. But yeah, usually when I make my helmet, it's I just essence spam because um, es essences are pretty cheap and it's probably cheaper than just to do reforge, I think, when you're making one of these uh, sort of budget helmets. Alright, well, that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, and uh, like and subscribe, guys. See you next time.